Hey, this is Gray Fox. And I'm Vixen. And welcome to Battle Box Mission 26. Mission 26. Dop Kit. Dop Kit. So we're always excited to get our battle boxes, open them up, and check out our fresh gear. Um, Dop Kit and Hygiene Kit is something that uh, they've been talking about on the forums for a long time. Okay. So I've been kind of uh, excited to see what Battle Box comes up with for us. So we've already put it in uh, here and taken it out of the box. So we're going to do this a little bit different this time. We're going to go through the contents that uh, you get with the box and then after that at the end we'll do an addition to the review showing how I would use this dop kit loadout. Okay. Sound cool? Yeah. Alright. Hopefully it doesn't involve being in a bathtub though. No. <laughs> no. I'm not willing to share that Tiny with the world. bubbles. <laughs> Curran's tiny bubbles. <laughs> Way to go, Brandon. That was very brave of you, brother. Pretty it cool. <laughs> We're not that brave. <laughs> no. no. Uh, anyways, so let's uh, let's get into this thing, huh? Okay. So what, this is the DOP kit. This is the top kit. So it's basically hygiene essentials. Mm -hmm. um, so I've been hearing that some people are not so happy about this, but personally, I think it's kind of fantastic. Yeah. So I guess we can talk about that after we get through all the stuff, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. So in the basic kit, the $24.99 value, or mm -hmm. I'm sorry, $24.99 cost, we have Grenade Soap Company Gunsmoke Soap. Gunsmoke Soap. So that's this right here. So it's um, it's a bar of soap, and it's shaped like a grenade, like a pineapple grenade. And it's black. And it's kind of a gray. Okay, charcoal gray. It smells good, though. It does smell good. It smells manly good. It does. Um, and I guess it's got pepper in it, like uh, actual peppercorns to uh, to help exfoliate and scrub. Oh, okay. And it comes with this um, stainless steel wire to go through the hole in the soap. I mm. suppose I should have figured this out before. I foresee that at some point becoming a, maybe an emergency hair tie for me. Really? I think so. Would it work for that? Um, you'd be surprised what I've made work really? in an emergency. Huh. I've actually used a pencil to hold up my hair. I figured it out. So this can go through the hole or you could put paracord in there or whatever you want to make it uh, soap on your rope if you will. But realistically I think what I'll do is I'll get one of those dis those um, travel soap dispensers. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? The, the plastic yeah, it's like a clamshell. plastic yeah. um, case. That yep. way you can take your soap with you when you're traveling. Yep, and that's what I'll end up putting this in. Okay. That way I don't have to use necessarily whatever the hotel uses because I don't right. always like that stuff. Right. You know what I mean? Well, the interesting thing about um, the whole on a rope thing mm -hmm. is, is that you don't have to put it in a soap dish or like that, um, mm -hmm. you know, the the ceramic ones that are right. in the tub at the hotel, you could actually hang it from the railing. Um, that way it kind of just drip dries and you don't get that cruddy stuff all over it. You could, or you could use like a suction cup like we have in ours for my razors, mm -hmm. you know, that has the hooks on it. Yeah. You could hang it on those hooks as well. Right. And I could bring that in my travel kit as well if I wanted to do yeah, something you like could. that. Sure. You know. But anyways, oh, pretty cool. Soap, mm -hmm. smells good. I'm sure that it will clean you. So it's all good. What's the uh, the value on that? The value on that is eight ninety five, which, okay, being a girl, if any of you ladies out there have shopped at like Bath and Body Works or any of those kind of places, yeah, that's that's what you're gonna spend on a bar of soap. So mm -hmm. guys, it's not unusual, really. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next it's not up, not like Irish Spring. That's like two dollars, whatever, but. You're getting a, you know, yeah. you're getting something different. And okay. it's designed to keep your trigger finger combat clean. Ooh. You know. That's important. Yeah. That's only 
Northern Ireland, Ireland Irish Spring only. Oh. Does. <laughs> but, but other than that, it's all good. I'll tell you what. Yeah. No offense to all you guys that mm -hmm. use Irish Spring. Mm -hmm. I think that smells better. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So next up, we have Grenade Soap Company Taint Scrubber. Taint Scrubber. At nine ninety five. So that again stands for. Tactical ass in intense nut technology. So it's <laughs> that is fairly crucial um, to making sure it's all good. And all these boxes on there's a lot of stuff from Grenade Soap Company in the box. Um, I believe Dan helped uh, this company get kicked off, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that is really and, cool. And uh, a portion of proceeds benefit uh, United States veterans. It says so on every box. Awesome. So that's pretty cool. Any company that supports veterans, I'm more than willing to support. Right. So how much is this? So the value is $9.95. $9.95. Mm -hmm. So it looks to me like you have, first off, you have a place to hang it again so mm -hmm. it can dry and it's not laying on something getting crusty and nasty. Right. It has a bit of a rougher side on this side and then you can... Flip the straps over to the other side, like so, for a softer scrub. Oh. Yes. So yeah, I think it's kind of cool. You know, I mean, it's, it's. Uh, it's a man loofah. It's a man loofah. Yeah. So. That's not a bad thing. No, I mean you get the big fluffy bunny things and shit like that. This is cool. It's od green and. Get a little scrubber so you can exfoliate and get, you know, and I, I'm, I'm always working in the shop, so I'm always getting, you know, cut up metal and smoke and grease and dirt and grime all over myself. Right. So if I can get that stuff off pretty easy, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. But it looks like you could put um, any bar of soap you wanted in here or the, the Grenade Company soap, of course. Um, lather it up and go, or you could use liquid soap on it, I suppose. You know, anything that would... Uh, foam up would work on yeah. this. So yeah, so pretty cool. What do you think? I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool too. I think it's kind of, um, it's fun is what it is. Is what it is, it's fun. Um, it's something that I'll use, um, definitely use. Not only that, but it's something that I can easily bring with me. Mm -hmm. You know, right. and it'll store no problem. Right, because we all know Gray Fox does travel quite a bit. Yeah. But it'll it'll store easily. I can hang it in my shower in the hotel, mm -hmm. and you know to dry, and then you know put it in the bag. Cool. You know, that's just one thing I really need to remember to do is bring a waterproof bag with me when I go yeah. on my trips. Yeah. That way, if something's still damp when I pack it back in a bag, I don't have to worry about it. Sure. Uh, yeah. But yeah, very cool. Mm -hmm. All right, so next up, we have the Camp Pack Towel. Camp Pack Towel. Mm -hmm. So I've seen these in various colors. That's it, right? Yeah, Camp yeah. Pack Towel. So I've seen some people getting camouflage outers with um, brown uh, towels. I've seen some people get, you know, the orange with brown towels. I've seen it in several different varieties. Ours happens to be orange and orange, which actually, I kind of like it. I'm glad we got it that way. So you have a nice big towel that you can detach if you want to from the bag itself, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. But you know the cool thing besides so you can it, you wash it when you get home. Yeah, so yeah. it's a nice, nice, good sized towel, mm -hmm. you know. But the other thing that I like about this is you can use it as a marker. Because it's a bright orange oh, yeah. thing, you'd be able to see this from anywhere, sure. really. You know, I mean, you could, you definitely see it. You know, I like that this is orange. So if you put this in your in your backpack, you know, and it, it goes down to the bottom, you'd be able to find it really easy. Right. You know, so this is nice and bright. But I like the fact that you'll have this really huge towel that you can use as a marker. You know. Yeah. You know, we might even want to um, pick up a couple more. I'd like to have one in the truck. Mm -hmm. You know, for you never know when. Yep. Um, yeah, no, I, I definitely agree. I think that it's a good idea to have a couple more of these. Yeah. You know, um, not only that, but I'd like to have one in my 
bug out bag as well as mm -hmm. you know in the camp bag and oh yeah definitely all of our other kits but yeah but no this is great i mean this definitely will go in the camping bag you know or the hiking bag i should say because just the simple fact that you can use it as a marker so yeah you know if you go you know into the woods to do your business or whatever when you right. come out you can you can mark your camp and it's easier to find yeah. you know things like that so so I just yeah. thought of another, um, you know, sort of day-to-day -day purpose for you uh -huh. specifically with that. Um, you know how we get random rainstorms in the middle of the afternoon, especially mm -hmm. in the summertime? Mm -hmm. And you're out on your bike and, you know, you come out of wherever and it's rained and your seat is all wet. Yeah. And you've got that to dry off your seat and ride home or that's wherever else you gotta too. go. No, that's a great idea. It's got a little carabiner too, so I mean yeah. I could put it on a backpack or a tank bag or whatever, sure. you know. So yeah, very cool. I actually really like this thing. How much? Mm -hmm. How much? What's the value on that? Um, eight ninety nine. I think it's worth it. Oh, it's way worth it. Yeah. Yep. Perfect for outdoor activities and sports. Excellent for cleaning fine objects, so it's not going to scratch stuff. So that's good too. Mm -hmm. So ultra fine microfiber. So you can actually clean your glasses with it and stuff. Oh, cool. It's also eliminates 99.9% .9 of bacteria, fungus, mildew, athlete's foot mold, and yeast. Repels odors. Deodorizing. Wow. Nice. So, yeah, very cool. I'm actually very impressed with this little towel. Yeah. Very cool. Very nice. All right. So, next up, we have Grenade Supply 24-Hour Dry Antiperspirant. Oh, that was that cool little... <laughs> okay, this is so cool. This is cool. I mean, it's definitely, uh, uh, you know, it's almost like a toy, but it's cool as hell. I like it. Not only that, but it, you, you squeeze the thing to pop the lid off. It smells really good. It does smell really good. Again, manly, yeah. but good. But you just spin this to make it go up and down. I just have visions of you leaving it, you know, like on the sink in the bathroom of a hotel and the mate coming in going, what? It's yeah. a grenade. Yeah. Yeah, it's no, it's pretty <laughs> cool. I like it. You know, and they make other ones too besides this. When I was on their website because I looked at some of their um, other stuff that they carry, but they make like, a, this is a 24 hour, I think they make a 48 hour and I think they make, they have a, a bunch of different products on their website and they're all really cool, you know. And the fact that their products are all, you know, supporting veterans is badass. Yeah. So, you know. All right. So I know it's kind of gimmicky, you know, the whole mm -hmm. grenade thing and everything, but it really smells good. It does smell good. And, you know, I once you can no longer be playful, you've become an adult and you just you can't have fun anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I still enjoy being playful and, and little stupid things. And, I know. And everything else. You know, I mean, and this is this is cool. There's a time to be serious. Mm -hmm. And there's a time to be whimsical. Right. You know what I mean? And yeah. you got to have... I'm so serious at work all the time, as you know. Mm -hmm. um, I have to be. Um, that when I'm not at work or when I'm on my own time, I like to have fun. I like to be whimsical. I like to shoot i like to make stuff i like to, you know what i mean yeah i like to be i'm a kid at heart and so this kind of stuff is is really cool right you know what i mean so you know it kind of plays into why we love our battle box subscription as much as we do and mm -hmm. once a month we get this box full of goodies we don't yeah, necessarily like, know it's in there and it's, it's like christmasy it's like christmas you yeah. know we open that box yeah. and Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Yeah, oh, my exactly. goodness. <laughs> exactly. And it's stuff that... It's exciting. I've just never seen or never thought of to buy. Or, right. And we go to a lot of camping suppliers and stuff like that. And we see mm -hmm. a lot of different things all over the place. Yeah. But I've never seen half of this stuff. So it's just... You know, that Battle Box sends us every month. There's always something that I look at and go, Oh, man, where has this been all my life? You know, right. I can really use that, you know? Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yep. All right, so believe it or not, we're still in the basic box. Yeah. So next up, we have the Coleman Camp Soap Sheets. Soap Sheets. Soap Sheets. Go there. 
So this is another thing that I didn't know existed, right? Mm -hmm. So what it is, is it's actually, you know how they have like the little mints? There are the little like things that you put on your, on your tongue yeah. and stuff like that. It, it looks similar to that. Um, I didn't take the plastic off. I didn't untape it or anything. So there we go. So is it basically like a moist towelette? No, it's actual soap. So this Ooh. is a small, you know, like onion peel of okay. soap. So you just get it wet and then it, That's it lathers? Yeah, it just lathers. Oh, wow. Isn't that cool? Yeah. You know, I didn't know that that was even a thing. Right. You know? I didn't either. And there's 50 little sheets in here. So you can wash your hands and, and do whatever else. And it stays nice and compact. And it, they feel like they're not going to be affected by heat too much. But you'd have to be really careful yeah. with moisture. So um, it feels kind of like, like a rose petal, I guess. Um, yeah. Yes, absolutely. It's got a pleasant smell to it. It's not overwhelming. Overwhelming by any means. It's mm -hmm. not, you know, masculine or feminine. It's kind of gender neutral, sort mm -hmm. of like you know, like a hand soap sort of thing would be. Mhm. Mm but yeah, it's kind of cool. Really smell it. So you know where this would be. Very clean? little scent. Yeah. So this is also something that I think. Um, People should have like in their vehicle or something. You're, you know, you get a flat tire or something, and you know, you get back in your vehicle and your hands are dirty and whatever. You can yeah, if you're like us up. and you carry water with you everywhere you go, then yeah. it definitely makes sense. Right. But people need to remember to always have water with them. You know. Okay, so. people, you need to always have water with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, if they don't have water, then that's pointless. But you should always have water with you. You should anyways. always have water with you, even if yeah. you don't carry soap. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, no, absolutely. There's that, you know, it'd be good for the camping kit for, you know, for being able to wash your hands real quick, yeah. you know, in a stream or being able to, uh, um, being able to clean a pot with mm -hmm. actual soap, you know what I mean? Right. Without carrying a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. You know, I mean, like sometimes we use those little Dawn dish soaps, mm -hmm. you know, which work great, but I mean, that's just as handy. Yeah. You know? Plus, it's dry. You don't have to worry about it busting in your bag and getting soap all over it. So, yeah. You know, which, thank like goodness, hasn't happened everywhere. yet. everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, pretty cool. How much are those? So, those are three ninety nine. And how many come in that pack? Fifty. Fifty. Well, that's pretty good. Well, forty nine now. There's no way I'm getting that one back in. No. <laughs> that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways. Okay, so moving on. Uh-huh. Epic Wipes Massive Refreshing Wipe. Yep, so that's this here. So these, I believe you can you buy them normally in a 10-pack. Okay. I think they're, basically when you buy them in a 10-pack, they're like two fifty dollars a piece or something like that. What's they're putting on $2? $1.99. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I mean, maybe they found a place where you can find them even a better price. But these are huge. I mean, it's I'm not going to open it because I don't have more of these. Um, and I don't want to waste it, yeah. <laughs> you know, so, um, uh, but anyways, it's like, you know, yay long by yay wide. I mean, it, it's a big sheet, a big towel, like the size of that other towel, um, that we pulled out, the orange one, that's basically the same size as this wet wipe. So it's like, a like 50 wet wipes in one. Um, but yeah, I definitely would buy more of these cause these are fantastic. Yeah. It's like you can almost take a bath with one of these in the woods, you know, when you're hunting or camping or whatever, just to yeah, re I'd refresh. Like to you I'd know? like to um, get some for our next camping trip. Yeah. It just, it makes, makes, it's always good to feel clean. Oh yeah. You know, especially when you've been out for a long time and you're feeling real just gnarly, mm -hmm. you know, and it's like, okay, you know, and you can wipe your whole self off and clean yourself up and let the breeze hit you while you're clean and it's just so much better. You know, or before you get in the tent and go to bed, you right. know, it's good to get the sweat off you and whatever else. So yeah, no, it's I was great. just thinking how many times we've helped somebody move in Florida mm -hmm. in the month of July when it's 90 plus degrees outside. <laughs> yeah. And then they want to take us out to eat afterwards. Yeah. And we're feeling gross head to toe. Yeah, just gnarly. Yeah. <laughs> At least we can kind of freshen up. That would be cool. Yeah, it would be cool. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> this has happened a couple times. It's happened many times. 
Everybody wants me to help move. It's unbelievable. And it's always in July. Well, I'm a big guy and we own a truck. Yes, I guess that's what it takes. So. <laughs> and what do you tell them about me? She, she's small, but she's real strong. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It is true. I hear that a lot. Yeah. Oftentimes I'll pick up the other end of the sofa and they'll go, Really? Hey, man. A little girl? <laughs> Uh, realizing uh, a little bit of our history, even though we're kind of getting off subject of the box, at one point in time between after the military and we were in, we went from Cleveland to Wisconsin mm -hmm. to St. Louis uh -huh. to, to Florida. Florida, all within a couple of years, and, yeah. I, and then three different houses in Florida until yeah. we ended up getting this place, mm -hmm. until we ended up buying this house. And four in Wisconsin. And four in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. So we have moved many, 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 many yeah. times. So it's been pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So she learned, and usually it was just me, her, and the kids. Yeah. So. Luckily the kids are farm strong. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we had to learn real quick. Yep. You know, you got to move. All right. So moving on. Yeah. So. Then we have the Ready Man Basic subscription, mm -hmm. which completes our basic mm -hmm. box. The $24.99 cost for a $60.49 value. That's a really good deal for the basic box. The basic yeah. box is a huge home run. I gotta say, I mean, there's a lot of stuff here that we would buy again. You know, now that we've seen it and we could think of a lot of practical uses for it. Yep. You know, realistically, I mean, you have some consumable stuff, so, you know, it's not going to last forever. Right. Um, but, and then the, the towel, um, the soap, you know, you're going to have to replace the soap. The deodorant, you're going to have to de replace the deodorant. These things are great. The soap things we could put in, like, five different kits. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, yeah, the taint scrubber, I don't know if you need a, more than one, but I guess I could put one in my travel kit and have one in our shower. Which would be good. Yeah. You know, but I could see buying, a, a, you know, at least a couple more of these basic boxes for sure. Um, because a lot of the consumable stuff is stuff that I would want to replace. And, you know, if you're worried about the price of the, of the, of the soap being a little bit more expensive, uh, if you buy a few basic kits, it's, you know, all that stuff is in there. Oh, yeah. You know. So, I don't know, it's just a thought. Yeah. If that makes sense. Absolutely. So, moving on to mm -hmm. the advanced, mm -hmm. the $49.99 cost. Mm -hmm. We have the Grenade Soap, Grenade Soap Company Tactical Toothbrush. Handle with. Oh, okay. Handle with replaceable toothbrush head attachment. Okay, so I've already taken this out of the box. So that's this uh, this unit right right here. There is uh, is what it is. So it's a. I wonder what the green screen is going to do with all this green stuff, but we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyways, so it has a, a stainless steel slide. I'm I'm guessing this is aluminum with a overmold of rubber that has this kind of grenade pattern with some cutouts in it. Uh, it has a glass breaker on the end, has a lanyard loop, has a ferro rod striker section, which is pretty cool. So I'll go over this in, in much more detail um, at the end of the uh, at the end of this. But just to quickly go over it because it is it, this comes with your box as it is. There is um, a container unit to put uh, clicker tools in here. Um, and then you have the toothbrush head, which has the, the clicker connector, mm -hmm. and that fits inside of, um, it fits inside of the container itself, or you can actually make it the, the toothbrush, gun brush, whatever you want to do with it. But then this just slides up, and once you slide that in, that locks it in. So then it's locked in there, and then you can brush your teeth or use it forever what you want to use it for. Um, these are carbon, so it's going to be antibacterial. Um, so you don't have to worry about that so much. It does have the slits in it so that air can get in there, so stuff can dry out. 
Um, they are going to make a uh, little tooth. There's these little round things here on the inside. And they're going to make little uh, toothpaste tablets oh, okay. that you can drop in there. That's cool. um, but yeah, I'll cover this in much more detail um, towards the end of the review. But, oops, I dropped it. There we go. But yeah, but it still has way nice in here and whatever. So, um, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. It also has, uh, for your clecker tools, a way to permanently mount a clecker tool here. See that screw hole right there? Mm -hmm. So you can undo this screw, put it in there, and then tighten the screw back down, and that'll hold it tight on there. So that's okay. pretty cool. But anyway, so it does a lot of stuff. Um, but like I said, I'll review it more a little bit later in more detail. So that's the only thing in the advanced box, and it is forty four ninety nine. Mm -hmm. So that brings the value of the box to a hundred five dollars and forty eight cents. Mm -hmm. Now. It's a cool toothbrush and all. Mm. I don't know that I would spend $45 on a toothbrush, even though it's a tactical toothbrush. Honestly, I probably wouldn't. Um, that's why I'm glad BattleBox gave it to me. <laughs> <'Cause>, yeah. Because <laughs> now I have it, and I don't have to say, dude, I spent you know $44 on a freaking toothbrush. That's... You know, got a glass breaker on it and shit like that. You know what right. I mean? Now I can say, I have this toothbrush that I got in BattleBox as a part of my subscription. You know what I mean? Yeah. That has all this, you know, stuff that it can do, which is goofy maybe, but I think it's cool. You know, I think it's just... It is cool. It's fun, and I have a feeling that it's actually going to be useful, which I will demonstrate later. Are you going to brush your teeth on camera? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> if Karen can take a bath, I can brush my teeth. It's only fair. <laughs> so it's all good. <laughs> all right. And so next up in the Pro Box, uh -huh. the $99.99 cost, we have the Six Shooter Razor. Okay. This has got a lot of talk on the forums, too. So... Six shooter razor. I talked about a this a little bit in the um, I'll Fox with Bourbon show the other day um, before I had even seen it. Um, and basically, what I said, well, I think you watched it. I did. Yeah, was that there's no way in hell that Vixen would let me buy this. What? It, how much is it? $49. $49 connector for a Mach 3 razor head. There's just no way. No. Um, no. However, like the toothbrush, it's cool. Um, I, I like, you know, ARs, AKs, and stuff like that, so I think it's pretty cool. I mean, you know, you got your flash hider, flash suppressor. It's got the logo on the inside of the of the barrel. Um, it'd be cool if it screwed off and you could actually use it. <laughs> but that's asking too much, of course. <laughs> but uh, but anyways, it, it feels fairly comfortable in the hand, actually. Um, and it will definitely get some use. Um, uh, I would not go out and buy this because I would get my ass handed to me. Um, once she saw that bill, hey, what is this for? Oh, I, I bought a AR. Now, if I actually bought a flash suppressor for, you know, 30, 40 bucks for one of my rifles, she would be okay with it. Mm -hmm. She'd be like, okay, you know, you got something for your rifle, blah, 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 blah. But if I said, I bought a flash suppressor so I could shave with it, she might trip out a little bit on that. But, uh, but not only that, but uh, Vixen is a couponer, um, so she gets razors super cheap. Yeah, yeah. So we always have like a, a stock up of mm -hmm. certain items, and razors happens to be one of those things. Yeah. So I absolutely refuse to pay more than three dollars for a razor. Right. But Forty nine dollars. Mm -mm, not happening. No. Right. <laughs> Which means, however, that I have a plethora of heads that will fit on the end of this. That is true. 
So that's pretty cool. So yeah, I dig it. Um, I will definitely use it. Um, I'm happy to have it because it's something that I would not have bought, nor would I have gotten away with buying it. <laughs> so, but now I have it. So. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make you take it back. No. <laughs> All right. Okay, so next up is the Grenade Soap Company Dop Slash Ammo Bag. That's this. That's this bag here. So as you can see, we've been using it. Um, what I'll do, like I was saying at the end of the video, I'll show what my actual loadout will be for traveling um, with this bag and why this thing is going to work so fantastically for me. There's a boatload of pockets. There's one, two, three, four, five in the front. There's one, two, three, four, five in the back. There's one on each side here. Whoops, there's one on each side. There's like a whole ton, like six or seven little ones on one side and five medium ones or five or six, one, two, three, four, five medium ones on the back. So it's a freaking awesome bag. It is an awesome bag. It really, it really I mean, it reminds me of, uh, you know, stuff that I would have gotten in the military um, for sure. And I think the value on it was less than I expected. Twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah, I expected this to be a fifty dollar bag, to be honest, because it's huge yeah. and it's durable. Right. And it's got you know nice you know double stitching on the straps, you know, and it's mm -hmm. it's just really cool. Yeah, definitely well worth the the price of admission on this thing. Oh yeah. So very. Cool. I would even consider carrying it like a purse. <laughs> Yeah, you could. You could use it as a range bag, use it as a purse bag. Looks like you could fit mags inside there. You could do all mm -hmm. sorts of stuff with it. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I will actually use it as its intended purpose of being... A dot bag? A dot bag. Um, but you'll see my carryout is much more than probably most people. Okay. All right, so next up we have the Grenade Soap Company Beard Oil. Right, so this was co-designed by Brandon, I believe, yeah. um, from BattleBox. Matter of fact, if you go to the website, there's a picture of him in the bathtub putting this stuff on. So it smells really good. It almost has kind of a, a root beery smell to it. So you throw a little bit on your hand there. This is like an e-cigarette liquid container actually don't get it confused with your e-liquid yeah, I won't be, <laughs> be vaping freaking beard oil Oof. that wouldn't be good I don't recommend it so I like the way it smells and I like the way it keeps your skin nice and moist so the biggest reason that I like using beard oil and this is one of the nicer ones that I've used is that um, for anybody who has a beard, and I have to keep mine fairly short um, for work. For work, um, but when you're kind of you know messing with your beard, you'll notice like flakes on your shirt or on your suit or whatever because of all the dry skin that's that's underneath your underneath your hair on your beard. And it gets trapped in there. And it gets trapped in the mm -hmm. in the in the hairs where the oil will kind of help eliminate that mm -hmm. issue. Right. Which is cool. Plus it's just, plus it's nice. And you kind of always have this like really nice scent with you all the time. You know, because you kind of smell it in your mustache and in your beard. And it's just, it's a smell good thing, man. You know, plus it feels good on your skin. That's nice. So yeah, so I like it. Cool. I like it a lot. Um, I would, I would definitely continue to buy that. Very cool. Yeah. All right, and then last up in the pro box is the Ready Man Pro subscription, mm -hmm. of course. So, did you skip over these little towels? It's a little towel. Those compact disposable towels. I did. I somehow missed that in the basic. Yeah. So these also are in the mm -hmm. basic. Easy towels, compressed disposable towelettes. Yep. So something else that's in the basic. Okay. So sorry. It's all right. So essentially they're little tablets um, that you can add water to 
to make them expand into towels, which is pretty cool. That's so cool. It is pretty cool, right? Yeah. So anyways, so yeah, they're just little towels. Um, and all you do is add a little bit of water to them and unroll them and they're, they're good to go. But cool. the other cool thing is, and there's 50 of those bad boys in here. Yeah. But it also comes with this tube. Oh, so you can just take a little bit with you and then yep. pack some more and yep. other bags and whatnot. Yep. So yeah. It doesn't want to close very well for me right now. Might have gotten might have gotten moist. But uh, too much beard oil perhaps? Could be. No, I don't know. But anyways, so you can carry ten of them with you, you know, wherever you go. That's very cool. Yeah, it's very cool. So you have a little kit with 10 of them. If I take one out. There, there we go. go. So you carry nine of them. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, just little little towels that don't break up very easy and easily used. Very cool. So we'll look at that again at the end of the video, but very cool. Yeah. Okay. So, that brings us to the Pro Plus. Uh -huh. The Knife of the Month Club. Knife of the Month Club! Which is... We need a theme song for that. I know we do, right? We'll work on it. Maybe that. a little, little something for it. But anyway, so, yeah. So, I've been looking forward to this month. Because it's uh, Browse Blades. Uh, Browse Blades make really, really cool knives. And I knew this one was going to be... Uh, limited edition, uh, limited to 6,000 pieces for uh, Battle Box specifically, and that I was going to have a copper handle, and that's really all that we knew. So um, we got it, and it comes with a certificate of authenticity from Browse Blades, which is pretty cool. I don't know how this fits in there, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then this pretty cool case that I really dig actually. Um, and then the knife itself. Um, so let's talk about that for a minute. The knife itself. So here's what I really dig about it. Um, it's D2 steel, which as you guys know, I use D2 steel. I love D2 steel. Uh, it's BattleBox branded from Browse Blades. I didn't see Browse on it anywhere, um, but we know it is a Browse. Um, and it's called the what? Mini Yakama or something? Mini Kami? Mini Kami. Mm -hmm. um, mine happens to be number 4,153 of 6,000. Yeah. So that's cool. But it's it doesn't lock. It's, a, it's just held open by friction. Um, and of course, if you're cutting stuff, you put your thumb on the top. Um, and I'll get a, a better picture of this for you as well and put it up behind us. But uh, anyways, so yeah, uh, it's sharp. It's D2 steel. It has a copper handle, which you don't see a lot. I'm not a huge fan of the fold over design. It kind of, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There's kind of a, a fold over. Yeah. Um, it just makes it look kind of like a piece of tin. Yeah. You know what I mean? I realize it's copper, which is cool. And because, you know, I use a lot of copper. Mm -hmm. um, and so, and it's been treated, so you don't have to worry about it getting bad or anything. Right. It does have a pocket hook. So it's kind of a gentleman's knife. It would be nice for carrying with a suit or, you know, something like that, mm -hmm. where it's a nice small knife. And, you know, it would be fine for certain things. Um, like cracking open that gray poupon in the back of your limo? Sure. <laughs> if you needed to do that, that'd be great. I like the shape of the blade. I think the shape is really cool. Um, I dig that. Uh, I actually dig the shape of the whole knife. The only thing that I'm not crazy about is the folded copper um, handle. Uh, it does, if this was bigger and it was more like a straight razor, I mm -hmm. think that'd be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. um, I actually think it's kind of cool as it is because it's a collector's piece and it's numbered. Right. Um, and it's a Browse Blades. As long as Browse Blades 
stays going, st you know, even if they don't, it's just going to be, it'll only gain value. So it's something you could just put in your, you know, in your gun safe or whatever and hang on to it because it'll only gain in value. Or it's something you could actually use if you wanted to. Um, I prefer a locked blade um, to anything else because in fear of, you know, I'm not really in fear of cutting myself though, honestly. Yeah. I know how to use a knife. Right. You know, I mean, I've, if you think about it, a Swiss Army knife doesn't, most, I should say most. Uh, the other day, somebody, I said that and somebody posted up a Swiss Army knife that locks. All the Swiss Army knives that I've ever had in my life don't lock. They're just friction locks. They just lock open when they, with a spring. Like 90% of, of, you know, old timer knives and things like that, they just mm -hmm. spring open. Uh, which is basically the same way that this thing is held open, except for this has actually got a little thumb spot that you can put your thumb on, and as long as you have your thumb on that, that's not really going anywhere, right. you know, because you're pushing down, you know. So I'm not too concerned about it. In fact, I'm less concerned with this than I would would be with Tops. Um, Tops makes a um, like a razor type thing knife that has a big bar that sticks out. I'd be more concerned about that than I would about this. But anyways, so do I like it? Yeah, I like it. Um, I'm glad I have it. Uh, would I rather have a Browse Tyrant? Absolutely. But I don't think a Browse Tyrant was affordable for the box that we have. So, but anyways, uh, cool. Something definitely I will add to my collection. As a collector, I am stoked to have it. All right. Does that sound make sense to you? Absolutely. Good. I hope it makes sense to them. Me too. <laughs> so the value of that knife is $119.99. So for your Pro Plus subscription of $149.99, you're getting a value of $333.41. Yeah, so I mean really if you look at it that way, how much do you say the knife is? $119.99, so $120. Which, for a limited run um, blade from a smaller knife company, is a very reasonable price, actually. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen freaking little bitty Damascus knives go for a hell of a lot more in limited edition runs. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not worried about that price at all. I think that that's a fair price. Um, but... If you think about it, if it's if if you put a value of one nineteen on there, mm -hmm. if if you put that price on there, which I think is slightly low for what it is, um, then the rest of it's only thirty bucks. You know. Yeah, basically, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if I said I could get all this stuff for thirty bucks, I guarantee you, you'd be like, hell oh, yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you know probably tell me to buy a couple of them but anyway so you know I think that the value is definitely there absolutely and the bag and the bag you know yeah. I mean I would have spent $50 for this bag if I saw this bag out somewhere mm -hmm. because I have so much stuff that I need to carry with me all the time right that a lot of it I haven't been able to carry with me because my other bag is so small right you know like my you know, my steamer and stuff like that, which, yeah, I mean, I'll, like I said, I'll show my log in a little bit, mm -hmm. but, you know, I would have bought this for 50 bucks. Right. You know, this right. bag. So that's and not the... Uh, yeah, well, I'm sure you would have. Uh, but yeah, so, anyways, I think the value is way there. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Battlebox, for um, sending us products that are totally different and we wouldn't have even thought of. Right. Um and good quality stuff plus the fact that a lot of this stuff supports veterans it's a number one in my book yo me too it's fantastic yep so what do we get for do we get any coupons or anything yeah we got a few so we okay. have 25 percent off at tactical razor okay so you want to buy another ar razor See how, see how fast that moved away. <laughs> I think that's just a picture one. That's just a picture one of Stowaway Tools. 
Oh, that's the stuff that goes in that um, toothbrush. toothbrush. Yep. That's kind of cool, actually. Um, you guys really should kind of check that out. Um, mm -hmm. The back side has all the fun stuff that can go in that. Mm -hmm. And we have a sweepstakes win a one year supply of Epic Wipes. What? One plus, year supply? Plus $250 cash. Cool. Okay. That's okay. it. And that's it. That's it. All right. So first off, I apologize for this being a ridiculously long video, but it's kind of got a lot of information and important stuff that I wanted to cover. So therefore, it's longer. So um, sometimes we get away with quick videos, but unfortunately this time, not so much. So the DOP kit, my DOP kit, the kit that I'll be carrying with me as I travel through the state of Florida. Um, so I go all the way from Miami to Pensacola, et cetera, et cetera. So anywhere in between. And so it's, a, it's important for me to have all my essentials as I go from place to place. Now, my med kit, which I always have with me as well, matches my DOP kit, which is pretty cool. So anyways, I'm pretty happy about that, but anyhow, so I've got my med kit that I always keep separate, and that's always with me, but the DOP kit itself, you've got your front pockets, which I can put extra stuff in here. This was just quickly thrown together of stuff that I definitely would have with me um, as I go. So these are just the uh, Listerine quick uh, fresh packets. Those I always have with me. Now that I have one of these, this will always be with me. One of those fresh epic wipes. And then inside the bag, we have the grenade antiperspirant. That'll be kind of cool to have with me. My razor. No, I'm not bringing the super fancy expensive razor with me. That'll stay for home use. This is the taint scrubber. These are those little towels. Grenade soap. Even though I always have a knife on me, it's always nice to have it extra. This is a uh, Kershaw Cryo Titanium. Beard oil. I really like this stuff. The biggest thing in here, and the reason I need the big bag, is this big monster here. This is my suit steamer. So I, I, I haven't been able to bring this with me. So I've been having to use when I'm on the road irons and steam, you know, steam the iron and, and keep pushing the button. But this thing works freaking ridiculously awesome, and it takes about one quarter of the time to steam a suit smooth. So now that I have the ability to bring it with me, it's coming. Toothpaste. Benadryl. Florida sunscreen. And the new toothbrush is coming with me now. So that'll be the, um, the tactical toothbrush. And not only for the fact that it's a toothbrush, but because it can do a bunch of other stuff. And I'm gonna show you that right now. All right, so here's a few of the Klecker stowaway tools that go into the tactical toothbrush. This one here is a stowaway pen. This one here is a stowaway wrench. And this one here is a stowaway scissors. And I'll show you those in use. So first off, all three of these stowaway neatly in the tail end of the toothbrush. So you have the pen, wrench, and scissors. Now they make a whole lot of different ones other than this. They make a knife, uh, which I ordered, and a comb, and several other things that you can get to uh, to put 
in this unit. So the pen is a simple, pretty simple premise. So it just pulls out and rotates out and you write with it. Pretty simple. Now to attach a unit to the front of the tactical toothbrush, you just pull this open till you see this dot. You place your tool on and you close it. We're in locking the, the unit closed. Now this here is a scissors. of which you just grab it and cut. This thing actually cuts really well. So, pretty simple. That's the scissors. And then to take it off, you just pull it back, pop it out, you can push it forward until this pops up. Slam your tool in there. Put it in there, slam this back and you have it stored. Now on the back of the tactical toothbrush you have this screw right here. So if you loosen the screw up, it gives you a gap on the back. You can actually put a tool in there close her back down you have yourself a permanently affixed tool. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. All right, so say you got a nut like this that you need to remove. You have this tool permanently on there. You just find the right size, slide around where it goes, and you can go ahead and turn that bolt in and out. So it's nice to have this. Uh, this particular one has both uh, looks like, yeah, metric and English. So you can, small metric and English nuts, you can go ahead and, and uh, take off with this. So in an in emergency, if you need it, you got it. And then you just unscrew this screw. That pops out, screw it back in so you don't lose it. Pop that open. And then slide this in here. Back all the way in. Yep, that's it. Pop it down and close it up. And then you gotta go ahead, you have a nice little storage area for your tools. Alright, so final thoughts? Final thoughts? Um, I think this bag is great. I think all the contents of this box are great. Um, it, it cannot be understated just how important hygiene is and staying clean. I mean, if you've ever just been grubby and dirty and you feel tired and worn out from whatever you did to get grubby and dirty, mm -hmm. cleaning up helps tremendously. Absolutely. So I also really like this box. I like the bag. I think I'll use just about everything that's in there. Mm -hmm. um, and thank you, BattleBox, for sending products that uh, are new and refreshing and stuff that I haven't tried before. And it's just cool stuff. It is cool stuff. So the only additional point I want to make on closing is that um, there's, you know, I realize that it's not for everybody. Some people are, are going to be super happy with everything. Some people are going to not like certain products that are in a box, you know? But that's gonna be true every month. Right. You know, every month there's gonna be some products that some people love and some products that some people don't love. I get that. I'm super happy. But I guess the main point that I wanna make is that um, when people are saying that they've, um, you know, this, this isn't worth X amount of dollars or this isn't worth X amount of dollars, the point being is that you're not actually paying X amount of dollars. You're you're not paying forty dollars for a razor or whatever. You're paying one hundred and fifty dollars for the entire contents of the box. So that's the only point I really want to make. But other than that, I, I think it's great. Um, I think this bag is dynamite. I think the um, the the knife is cool that it's a collector's piece. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and the rest of it's pretty cool. So. This has been a really long video, and I apologize again for it, but point being is that 
I like the box and I really look forward to next month. So with that being said, peace. See ya. Stay, Stay foxy. Oh, well, you were a little early. That's okay. I still love you. I love you.